What are the five ways through which we learn? When I tell you the answer, you're going to say, you <laughs> What are the five ways in which we learn? Our senses say Anjali and Vabhavi Nidhu. Our five senses. Excellent. Please. They also get gifted a speedster lightning. Absolutely correct. We learn through the five senses because the five senses, while they are the ones that make us addicted to sensuality, addicted to the high that our senses can give us, they are actually a source of knowledge and learning. So the five ways in which we learn are touch, listening, seeing, smelling, taste. And because the brain is so close to the eyes and the ears, slightly away from the nose, like slight distance from the mouth, what we see and what we hear has the biggest impact on our learning. In its most simplistic structure, and I have no doubt everybody, everybody will follow this very basic class five biology. In its most basic structure, a brain comprises of left hemisphere and right hemisphere. Left hemisphere, controls and manages the opposite side. So the left hemisphere controls and manages the right side. Right hemisphere controls and manages the left side. Left brain influenced by masculine father and what we have learned and understood from the father. Right brain influenced by the feminine what we have seen, learned, and understood from the mother. And because we are all very good children, we are all amazing learners, we are all very obedient, and life is maths. So if you saw your father be stressed about money, you too will be stressed about earning money because the father is the one who goes outside in the world, goes outside the home. Our mothers manage, save, share, and budget inside. So if you saw or heard your mother being stressed about money, you too will have trouble saving money. You too will have trouble budgeting money. If you saw and heard your parents shouting, arguing about money, the fear around money will not let you get money easily. If you had parents who were incompatible and who were irresponsible with money, then that would also make sure that even if somehow you were managing to bring in the money, you will not be able to keep it. For a moment, just think about your money story and see which parent or parental behavior this is learned from. Don't write it down, just make a note of it. If at all you wish to write down, write down in your notebook. I'm gonna give you a minute and a half. The point over here is for you to see how well you have learned. And how identical to the tea and sandwiches, we end up just procreating that same learning. Everything you know today, we know today, we have learned. Life is a series of learnings. Yes, can everybody see the, the identical pattern between what is happening with your money story and what is happening and what has happened with your mother's money story or your father's money story or their money story together. Yes? Have I got big capital yeses? Have I got two exclamation marks? Absolutely, Nidhu. As many as you want. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. This is so good because now we know what the problem is. Not your parents. The problem is that we learned, but we didn't know 
that we could unlearn. One of the biggest hallmarks of an exaflops brain is of course learning, but what is learning? Learning is also the, in, the ability to unlearn and learn something completely brand new. Because here's the incredible thing about our brain. No other or, organ in our body has this ability. I'm gonna introduce you to a word called neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to reorganize itself into an almost different brain. What is love? It's an advanced emotion. Love is not possible without a spine and a brain. The more evolved a brain, the more love is possible. So the moment you have gotten this new awareness, new consciousness, you have learned something new, your brain is upgrading into exa and exaflops. And when that is happening, your possibility potential for love, for money, of course, because that's the story we're going to work on today, is also going to take place. Take a look at your story again that you've put down in your journal. Don't put it down on the telegram group. Just take a look at it. Make a note, which parent is it? Or which parental story is it? And then have some water. In fact, have as much as you can. The brain loves sugar, but simplest sugar. So it works on glucose and it adores water. You need your brain to always be hydrated. Yes? And let us begin the process of, first of all, opening up the brain. See, the crown chakra doesn't need any opening. The crown chakra works throughout your life. There's no problem with the crown chakra. The problem comes when we cannot receive the 100% light, 100% gold, 100% super conscious from it. And therefore, in this, where the, where the skull curves over there, gently thumping and thumping. You're not tapping. You're thumping, but very lightly. You're thumping. I want you to let your mouth open a bit. Let it relax. And when you do that, you'll have a sudden intake of breath. You'll have a sudden jerk somewhere in the body. When that happens, at that point, you're going to start inhaling through your mouth. going to inhale in a way that fills up your chest, fills up your upper chest. And when you can't inhale anymore, you're going to exhale. When you exhale, your mouth is going to close. So one more time, just open your mouth, keep it soft. If your arm begins to ache, just use the opposite arm. But keep the thumping going. Keep your mouth relaxed, open. As soon as that other jerk and second breath comes in, begin the inhale. And exhale. One last time. Let your mouth fall open. Let that sudden second breath come. And begin the inhale. And finish the exhaling. Take a moment's break, but only to have water. You are now allowing the 100% light, the 100% gold, the 100% you-ness of you, the 100% super conscious to start trickling in with its messages and insights. Our work is not done. You want to get back and you can use the opposite path. And I want you to start connecting the messages from here throughout the body, because this is the area of light. Then there is space, then there is air, then there is fire, then there is water, then there is earth. You want to connect all these five and it's as simple as this. You're just going to start tapping, not tapping, I'm sorry. You're just going to start thumping your way down. Keep, your, keep it 
on your central collar. And because we're sitting, you just thump on your thighs and travel back up and thump on your sacral, belly button, solar plexus, heart chakra, upper heart chakra, throat, whole throat, chin, mouth, nose, come back up, meet your hand, change. Now do it with the opposite hand. Come down the chakra collar, just thumping, thumping lightly. Finish thumping on your thighs, come back, come back, come back, keep thumping, keep thumping, come back, come back, come back, come back, and down. Next sip of water. The two way communication between the universe and you is from your crown to your root and your root to your crown. And we saw yesterday, we checked yesterday if there was a traffic jam or pile up, speed breakers, potholes, road undone. And therefore, the last part of this connection is the clearing of this pathway. It's as simple as, so I'm gonna put my arms out and keep your arms straight as much as possible. If you really cannot, fine, bend your elbow, but keep your palms absolutely straight. Don't do this, please. Keep your shoulders relaxed. And elbows are facing each other. That's how you know your palms are straight. And one after the other, you are going to go up and down, up and down. Yes, excellent. You're gonna take it above your head and you're gonna take it below your root chakra. If you're sitting, just move away from your device. I'm not able to do that. And just come right down as much as possible and go back up. Yeah. Like when Neelu was doing this on our last call, she was like, that was a cardio. So a little bit it is, but go ahead. Just go ahead. And sip of water. And while I'm gonna take a few more sips of water, after you've had your sip of water, relax, take a deep breath, check your story. What is in this story now? Is it the same story? Is it a different story? You can't remember the story, which is why you take a look at what you have written. Because for a while, when you've done a different activity, you won't immediately jump back to what we did prior, but you've written it down. So take a look and see if it feels real to you now. Is it real to you? Or is another insight already coming in? Don't write on the group yet. Just make a note. I'll give you 22 seconds. Make a note of whatever else is coming in. This doesn't matter. Gosh, I'm really angry about this story. This does not feel real anymore. Is so true. I have been living like this my whole life. Whatever is coming to you, make a note. Once you have made a note, you will repeat with me, repeat after me. I no longer need to follow. I no longer need to follow my mother's money worries. Two more times. I no longer need to follow my mother's money worries. I no longer need to follow my mother's worries. I no longer need to follow my father's money problems. I no longer need to follow my father's money problems. I no longer need to follow my father's money problems. If you can have some more water, and that's if your lips are drying up or your mouth is a little dry, you've already had a lot of water, then you will take a sip of water, you'll hold it in your mouth, and you're most welcome to spit it out. By the way, this is a brain awakener. You just hold it in your mouth for a few seconds, you spit it out. And this is if you cannot, I'm sorry, if you cannot have water. Clearly, I need to. Last round for this set. I no longer need to follow. I no longer follow. I no longer follow my mother's money worries. 
I no longer follow my mother's money worries. I no longer follow my mother's money worries. I no longer follow my father's money problems. I no longer follow my father's money problems. I no longer follow my father's money problems. And now, take a look at your story. Tell me where you are. Tell me what's coming up and share on the Telegram. Nadeem, wait. I can see people are typing, but Nadeem, for me, I just, I just cannot remember. <laughs> awesome. What, I, awesome. what it was first, awesome. and yeah. Your brain and, is turning. Yes, and the Shali says, uh, I create my own money story. Fantastic. How real is that right now? Like mm. till. 20 minutes back, it was not real. How real is it right now? Vaishali is typing to your question, Nidhu. And Elizabeth has uh, said, it doesn't matter what their story is. Fantastic. But is that real for you? You must check the truth mm. of what you're writing. So check. What is it? What is the new, what is the new neural pathway you have just created in your brain? Elizabeth says, yes, it is superb what she's feeling. Superb, superb, superb. And because some of y'all are still writing it, I will hang on for the next, for the next round, which is going to turn this story on its head even more. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. um, Same. There is, I think the name, I'm not sure about the name, my apologies, but they're asking what if you were adopted? So whatever is your money story today, as long mm -hmm. as you've understood that your father earns, your mother saves and budgets, it doesn't matter if you don't know your parents. Your mm -hmm. story, your parents' story is obvious in your life today. Whether it is money, whether it is relationships, whether it is your career, whether it is your spirituality, your parents live through you, just as they are also some of these children living through their parents. Yeah. I mean, do the responses are coming. Priyanka says, for me, it's all clear. I could not trace it back to my mother any longer. I feel it's now me. I am in the saddle. Fantastic. Namrata says she's feeling calmer. Yes. Asmita says, I feel I'm a healer now and can heal everything. Oh, fantastic. Why not? Why not? Why not? And Balaji says, my ancestral path I cleared with a clear map with money now. Superb. Shailaja, I think it's all mine now. I no longer need to follow anyone else's paths and pains. Oh. Vaishali, in response to your question, Nidhu says that her new story she feels is making money is easy. I don't need to worry at all. Fantastic. Fantastic. 100% light, 100% gold, 100% super conscious. How long did we take? I had to tell you what to do, but how yeah. long is that? One minute, two minutes max? I no longer, I no longer, I no longer follow this story. And when you, when, you re, when you do this on the replay, when you write down the decree, you will use whatever words you want to use. I've used the word mother's money worries. And I use the word father's money problems. But you can use something else. My father's, my father's inability to get a raise. You can leave now, you can leave now, you can leave now. Or my mother's hopelessness around getting the money she required. Whatever that is, you are not to follow it anymore. 